Hello, <laughs> oh, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense, and I try to keep it down other than nitty gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, there's something very, 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 very important. And my videos are not important to the libertars, people who believe in God, people like the small people, like the drain people, like Awaska people, like DMT. Listen, this discretion is advised. That's eighty percent of you. So there will be, it will be something that you disagree with because you don't have the experience I have in adultery. Um, I went to college, I got a background, but I'm not going to spew all my personal information out there. I just got to keep it, you know, mysterious. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of guys don't know me when they get a chance to know me. It's like, oh shit, this is fucking real OG shit. Okay, right? I'm not a gangster. I actually hate gangsters, okay? But when I come across people who are gangsters, I kind of give them a little bit of education, okay? They get out of the game before it's too late, okay? But let's teach you something. Let's get on with the topic for today. Two birds with one stone today. If you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast fest, you put it down below. Monitor it, screen it to prove. If you have roast fest and it's good, I post it. If it's bad, it won't be posted. So this guy was telling me how I'm struggling, and I know he's struggling with STDs and cooties and shit with them used vaginas and used cunts. And of course, that's him, okay? He loves used but you he lose body. He probably eat booty. Stay away from me. Stay away from me if you're eating booty. Alright, okay now. That's some really beta shit if you eat some booty now here. Um, but um if you notice two things, I'm killing two birds with one stone here. Um but how beta males uh, disrespect you and how they take you out of context, okay? And also how, why women cheat, okay? And men cheat, okay? <clears throat> so I'm doing two things, two topics here. The first thing I'm going to talk about is beta males because there's a tendency of, I remember this guy in the past, okay? When I went to eat, when I went to the Gambia and I was like kissing on her, talking about chocolate and shit, her name was Benta. And then I found out she wasn't a virgin because I told you before, I'm a personalized gynecologist, okay? I check pussies in my own way. I know there's about three to four different types of pussies. I don't want to go there with the types of pussies, but let's begin now here. So when people don't like your content or if this guy, it's mostly going to be beta male, effeminate type males, okay? These beta males, it's not going to be beta alpha males. Cause beta alpha males don't really watch my shit, okay? Because they can't, they don't have no videos to prove that they're beta alpha. But I got videos to prove that I'm on Pornhub. I got, I got videos to prove that I'm on fucking OnlyFans, okay? But you gotta pay, okay? Right? It's behind a paywall. You gotta do things. You gotta have some kind of um you know, substance in order to get paid by women. They, they don't get paid. Then nobody talks about it because they think they're alphas. It's not a made up term. You go to Africa, they still do polygyny over there. They got multiple women. That's their tradition over there. But there's people who are just delusional about what an alpha is. They think alphas are fucking uh, do monogamous relationships. They don't, okay? Alphas don't do use vaginas. Like I already told you this before. Now, they'll take segments of your videos and try to edit what you said and what you did not say. Okay? So you got to be careful that. That's the first step to find out if a beta male <clears throat> who's in his emotion is basically hating on your shit. And it has happened to me. When especially when I went out to Ethiopia and I fucking went to the Gambia. And they just don't like it because I got videos because I act cringy and kind of weird and shit. I do that shit on purpose to piss them off again. You know, they, they, oh, I'm going to get these people on him. I, I've encountered them. Check out my past videos about my haters. I got haters, baby. Yeah. <laughs> if you ain't hating, you ain't bobbing, nigga, right? Right? Okay. You got to have haters, man. They don't contact you. They don't want to give you no uh, air time. They ain't going to talk because they, when you try to talk to them, then they be, oh, oh, that's what you mean. Oh, oh no. I said, why are you calling me a pedophile when I ain't did nothing pedophile, ped pedophilic on that video? What, what are you talking about? Okay? You know, they're just jealous. They're mad and angry. These guys are guys. These are guys. These are guys who hate on other brothers from another month, okay, you know, they don't know I'm from Brooklyn, they don't know I got a certain swag with me that they can't contend with, they know, they, they know this, man, they, they know this, they've got no conversation, they can't even call the candle to me, but it's okay, I don't mind if you guys start just going to the Kevin Sim Samuels videos, I don't care about that, I don't get jealous, I don't look for validation, I already got my money, I got my money, but you know how to join my Patreon if you want to help build me up, okay, that's up to you, okay, you know, the Patreon's down there, I'm not a beggar, okay, I do things just, that's my hustle, okay, but anyway, let's get on with the next topic. The next topic is, is that how to tell, I've already made a video about, I think, if a Jezebel likes you, but the reason why women cheat is far more superficial than a man. I tell women all of the time, the reason why, two reasons why, I'll narrow it down, I try to narrow it down, narrow it down, narrow it down. We trying to be alpha about it, be simple, 
instead of going through all of the pathological ways, we're going to narrow it down. That's what I do. I narrow things down. Take out all the technicalities. I don't like all of the technicalities. These segmas, these sigma, oh my God, omegas, it's not necessary to go down that list. It's only three types of males, like I said before. <clears throat> beta males, beta alpha males, <clears throat> and then there's, they don't exist, okay? Actually, it's only two. Okay, two types of males. Beta males, no, it's three types of males. Beta males, beta alpha males, and alpha. That's it. You don't know wavelength. When I see a sigma, okay, or gamma, they are all considered in the either the beta alpha construct or the beta. Beta means emotions. Okay, let's let's, let's keep that connected. Let's, I'm going to look at it my way, and you're going to look at it your way, right? And I'm older than you, so you can make up all your terms. I don't care. I'm going on the old school ways. Now let's go. Let's, let's skip everything else. Now we already know what beta, beta alpha, and alpha is. Okay, we don't need to know what the rest of it is. If you want to know why guys cheat, guys cheat for two reasons. Because they are beta alpha fuck, and they've been whoring around. Okay, and the women love these type of men. As I said before, eighty percent of the the fucking beta females gravitate towards the beta alpha cucks. This twenty five percent, and then they expect. Oh, he cheated. They want a challenge. They want you to cheat. How many times I gotta say this? Women love when men cheat. So these fuckboys fuck up over them. 80% of the time this happens in society. But they're cheating too. They like polygyny. Po polyandry. Polyandry is something that women do when they try to make an excuse for themselves to cheat on a man. Even though she's highly attracted to that man by 8, 9, or 10. Because nine times out of ten, a beta females always try to gravitate towards too much of what their her number is. If her number is a five, without the makeup, she's gonna deal with it eight, nine, or ten. This is a fact. Okay, I'm, you, you want to come to me for the facts? Okay, you, you you don't have to believe me. When they get with these eight, nines, or tens, they are going to try to cheat. They're going to try to do hypergamy because they would never settle for beta males, which is their type of value. The guys that are value are beta, just like they are. And then, next thing you know, they'll try to make up the excuses. They are master manipulators. They are the biggest narcissists. Then you have to blame women. Now, once we, We're going to hold, hold women accountable, not just because of Sam, Sam, Kevin Sim Samuels, rest in peace of soul, but we are going to do it through the justice system, <clears throat> through the logical, uh, non-emotional justice system. Now they're starting to think about paternity, criminalizing paternity tests now. Because they should have been doing this a long time ago. But you know how the system is. They make money. Capitalism and extortion. They put people in jail. And they make money off of you. I heard that they make money off of all sorts of people. And every time they put people in jail, they make the system makes money. And then the men are suffering more. So that's going to stop. Because the wrong man's going to get caught up. <clears throat> and there you go. It's going to flip. But the reason why men cheat okay, is because they're supposed to do polygyny in the first place. So they're, they're usually going to be beta alpha males. So the beta alpha males got a lot of prettiness with them. They got a lot of money, whatever, yada, yada, yada. And they're going to cheat because the females know that they want them to cheat. So they're going to cheat. Okay? It's that simple, okay? You know? And then the second reason is, is that you got a big attitude. Huge ego. Okay? And I saw some beta alphas get fucked over. Really fucked over. And they trying to run away and shit. And they get hurt. I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. That's it. That's it. You could do a whole lot of bad damage to a lot of guys, and they'll still stay in a relationship. They love harder than women. This is a fact. We already know this. Now, let's get on with the next subject, okay? Why women cheat is more for way more reasons. Because of their single mothers. Their single mothers cheat because their mothers sometimes, they get influences from social media. That's one reason. Second reason is because their beta alpha fathers is not there or their father's not there in the first place to protect them. And, and, and even though they find someone to teach them, they don't want to hear it. Okay? Sometimes they do it because they're nymphomaniacs. And this is the most dangerous female out there. The Jezebel who is the, the nymphomaniac. She likes sex. She's going to cheat. There's no, <laughs> no ifs or ands or buts about it. Okay? This cannot be relatable to men because most men fall hard over heels. They will usually try to forgive a female and stay with her. Okay, the females usually choose the beta alpha fuck boys. Fuck boys are not mature. Okay, even the beta males are not mature, but they have to learn. They have to get it from somewhere, right? 
So the females do for superficial reasons. You don't have enough money. Your dick is small. Okay, you don't have a personality. You're boring, which you're really not. Men are usually not boring. Okay, it's just that they their perception of boring is it's like what is the guy doing? How are you in, in come? Why how are you compatible with them? I talk to women all the time about it. I say what are you doing? What is he doing for fun? They're doing this, this, and that. Playing basketball, hanging out, doing this. Why can't you go with him? Why can't you play games with him? Why can't you learn? I'm always telling women, why can't you do these things what guys like to do? They don't like their hobbies. We like sports. We like cars. Why can't you get into those things? Nine times out of ten, I see women in the fucking, their sports entertainment, going to football games and stuff like that. You know they had a boyfriend previously because they the boyfriend had to convince the ass to go. Okay. They had to convince them, and then when they leave their ass because they got a more more of a problem, more of a conundrum, then all of a sudden they go by, they go because that's the only thing they have nothing to do. They have nothing else to do, so they're there now. They're going there by themselves, okay, because their boyfriend dropped them, or they claim to say their boyfriend cheated. Men are not supposed to be in monogamous relationships. I teach women this. I teach my daughters this. You do not. You want bigger families. You want bigger money. You got to go that way. I know it may seem hard for a lot of guys to understand this. But alphas do not do monogamous relationships. You got to be up front. Most of you guys are too beta to be up front. You're not. Then you cheat. You ain't got to realize that the female is not a virgin. Then that's all on you because you settle for less. That's the first, like, my wife, who's from Ethiopia, is a virgin. I tell her all the time. I said, that's the only goodest thing, positive thing about <laughs> goodness. I, mean, I know there's no such thing as the word goodness. I know that. But I got my wife because I earned it. I put myself, my profile up on him, and she's more likely not to cheat in her country. But you cannot bring, she cheat. She tried to cheat. She tried to cheat on me. I had to test her. I told you, you'll always be tested. I tell women this things all of the time in front because I'm too upfront. I'm too honest. You will always be tested. You'll be tested behind the scenes, and, and it may seem kind of scary, but you're going to be tested. You can't be a tra- you can't not lose my tracking devices. You can't do that. I'm CIA. I'm FBI. You can't do that. I'm listening to everything you're saying and doing, and then recording, and not saying shit until later. Did you say this? I'm the fucking judge. But anyway, now you know the reason, multiple, multitudes of reasons, superficial reasons why women cheat over guys. Guys are not as complex that people make them out to be, okay? Men cheat for mainly two reasons. As I said before, something's wrong with the booty hole or something's wrong with your mouth. Something's wrong with your booty hole. Something's wrong with your mouth. You don't have nothing in common with a man. If you're a female, you have to be taught these things. You do not understand. You have to come to the man. I am the man. Not Kevin Samuels. He wasn't going to give you no advice anyway. And some, some witch got him, okay? Because I'm not, I'm not the one to get got, okay? <laughs> don't put no spells on me, witches. <laughs> the witch bitches are out there. I hate him too. I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to teach you some shit. I'm like, you the little if you got the spirit of the little Suscubus, the whore of Babylon, you better come to me before it's too late. It don't work. Your spells don't work on everybody. Okay, that's another video for another day. But anyway, I'm talking for 13 minutes now here. Now you know the, the many reasons, superficial reasons why women cheat because of their mostly emotional reasons versus men cheat. Okay? And I can't put this on my TikTok because TikTok only allows 10 minutes now. They have upgraded their motherfucking TikToks. So you got to be careful what you say because they watch, they're reading the transcript as well and they'll take it out of context. They don't care if you're a fucking comedian or not. People don't respect comedians. You got to respect that. You know you was already given a disclaimer from the beginning of the video. I say shit without breaking none of their policy. I have a right to make fun of people. Don't, don't, don't zip my mouth okay? because I ain't said shit wrong. If I say the word cunt, I'm, I'm allowed to say that word. Okay, and I'm allowed to say the word nigga too. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you know I'm, I'm not even white. Okay, <laughs> it's this black privilege right there. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, other than that, I love you all, but I hate to mail you. And guess what I'm gonna say? I'm not your average man. I'm not your Peter Pan. What's this camera? You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. She's gonna be just as goofy as I am. But I'm on Twitch. You know how to find me. If this video get pulled down, it'll be on my Rumble. Let's get ready to rumble on my Getter or my MeWe or my Signal. Peace. Peace